Hi, I'm Ali Moore. I'm a librarian with SFU Library and PKP, and I'm here to talk to you guys about a project that Kevin and I did as part of our new digital publishing division um, that got students involved in publishing their work and showcasing um, the work that otherwise would probably just have been read by an instructor or a TA and then never really kind of revised or, or drafted or done anything else with, and we've actually gone and made it public. So the reason I called this Can I Revise That is because this is a project that really saw a high level of student engagement. Um, it was very valuable in noting from the instructor that even after students' work had been handed in, graded, put up online, uh, they were still reaching out to contact her and say, you know, I wanna make a couple changes, I think I can make this better. Um, and we often hear that students are not necessarily as engaged in the writing process, so this is kind of a, a really nice opportunity to change that and demystify a little bit about uh, scholarly communications. So I'm actually going to show you really quickly what our process was for going into the classroom. And you can read what I have up on the slide there because that kind of talks about our workflow. But from a librarian's perspective, it was incredibly valuable to be able to go into the classroom and actually talk about things like copyright and fair use and making sure that we were involving liaison librarians, uh, folks in the digital publishing department, so that students were really having an opportunity to connect with all the different support staff that are there to answer questions about things like, can I use this image? What happens when I actually decide to go uh, and, and publish something online? Um, you know, what, what are the things I need to consider? So it was an opportunity to engage a lot of librarians, and it was a way that liaisons could also kind of empower themselves to take on this new role um, in the classroom. Sorry about this. <laughs> okay, so if you go to journals.sfu.ca slash courses, what you'll be able to see is the installation that we created specifically for student journals. Uh, and what I mean by that is that these are journals that are not actually undergraduate journals where they're coming in and a student is deciding to do it, but it's where an instructor approaches us to actually create a course journal out of the material that would have just been student papers. And here we go. The one that we worked on this fall is called Making 19th Century Literary Environments. And what you'll see is we're using OJS to create um, HTML and PDF copies of the students' papers. And they're able to participate in the peer review process. They submit articles, um, students do blind peer review of each other's work, and then we post it online. So each of the articles are presented in HTML and also as a PDF. And it was really important for us that the instructor um, wanted this to look professional. And the reason for that is that these were capstone courses, English 400. So these students really needed something on their CV that they could point to as an example of the quality of their writing. And so we took the time to set up a word template so that we would be able to help students um, format their work and ensure that it looked uh, you know, like you would expect the quality from a scholarly journal. So I'll just uh, give you an example of what the reading experience is like. And we'd be happy to share with you um, examples of how we made this happen. Uh, it's been an incredibly rewarding process for us. Um, and it's the kind of thing that we've actually had um, other instructors approach us about doing this in their class as well. So next term, we're planning on doing this with uh, a history of the book class at SFU as well. So thank you. <laughs> 